Hey guys, this is Pastor Scott, and I just wanted to do a Bible review for you guys. I don't really know how this is going to turn out. Um, I'm trying the portable selfie stick for if I'm out on the field or something, and I wanted to do this uh, for you guys. So we'll see how this goes, but I'm just going to go with it. Uh, yeah, so today I wanted to do a, a kind of a just a quick review of... Uh, a couple Bibles here, but they are, they are connected. But this is right here is the New Testament uh, Counselors Edition from uh, Jimmy Swaggart and the team, the Expositors New Testament Counselors Edition. And um, this is what got me into this. I saw this online and a brother said that he would do it for a trade for a study Bible. Hello, Mama. And uh, so I gave it a shot, and it's an expository study Bible, which just basically means that you have the text in black and then the notes from the uh, Jimmy Swagger or his team in red so that you can see. And almost every verse is, has something to say about it, and um, it's just absolutely wonderful. And I love this size. It's about the size of my hand, and even the print is not too bad when you... Um, when you read it, uh, I mean, if you're a little bit older and you might need some uh, reading glasses or such if you want to see it clearly or whatnot or just pray. But anyway, yeah, I've done a few, a little bit of highlighting in this already. Um, it was just really cool. Let me just read it. Chapter 22 of Luke, the plot. Now the Feast of Unleavened Bread drew nigh, which is called the Passover. And then that's the text, and the verse says, It began on April 14th. There was three feasts held at this particular time, the Passover, Unleavened, unleavened Bread, and the First Fruits. And yeah, and then it just has some wonderful uh, information and uh, such as that. I mean, he does interject some of his uh, opinion on certain matters, which I don't generally appreciate when it comes to this, but to each his own. Um, and you just uh, pray and ask the Holy Spirit to to uh, help you to chew up the meat, spit out the bones, and like I like to say, keep the good fat. Amen. So yeah, it is really nice. And then the other thing why it's called the Counselor's Edition is in the back here, past Revelation, there are some pages for notes, and then you have scriptures in their entirety on different things, practical suggestions for the counselor, uh, things that you should and shouldn't do, and then scriptures for the alcoholic, scriptures on discouragement, backsliding, and it doesn't just give you the reference, but it gives you the scripture right there. Scriptures for financial matters, um, on forgiveness, on grief, Scriptures on guilt, guidance. I mean, just it has a nice, a lot of pages here at the at the back of different scriptures, and then you get more uh, notes, places for notes and such. Maybe you have some prayer requests or what you want to put in there, and then you know the road to salvation and such and Holy Spirit. So this was really wonderful. So uh, I had a few Bibles here. The office, me and Diana are doing our best to uh, strip things down and uh, clean up and uh, it, and uh, just. Uh, Get rid of the stuff that we don't need. And so I had gotten rid of a few Bibles, and I was able to get this. This is the King James Version, a Holy Bible with Concordance, the Expositor's Study Bible by Jimmy Swaggart. And I'll just read what it says right here at the bottom. The most unique aid to Bible understanding today. That's just a claim that they make. It is pretty neat, actually, that almost every verse has uh, some notes on it and such, so that makes it really handy. Um, it's not necessarily a study Bible in the sense that you study and cross-reference and chain-reference um, scriptures and such, but there is a bunch of different information here, but I'll just uh, show you these points right here. It is in the large print. Virtually every scripture is self-explained, King James Version, wonderful, that's the official version for One Accord Crusades, King James Preferred. Uh, biblical text in black, expositor's notes in red. Expositor's notes are positioned immediately following the scripture, that's what makes it unique. Uh, following the scripture, phrase, or even word. Example on the back, bonded leather covers, Smith's own binding, which is a huge plus for durability. And then it also has concordance maps, assorted Bible helps, utilizing some of the best Hebrew and Greek scriptures. Scholars, large print, so it'll last you a long time. Bible dictionary, Bible encyclopedia, Bible commentary in abbreviated form. So yeah, here it is. Um, I've been using it for a while, a couple of weeks here since I got it. Um, and like I said, it's just wonderful. So yeah, it's pretty good size, pretty decent size, thickness, couple inches. Um, it's a it's it's a good size. Uh, 
Bible Cromwell bonded leather, and it's got the gold uh, gilt gilting, and then like it says inside there, it has this Smithsonian binding, which means that the the signatures each of the different books, you know, Exodus, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, each signature is sewn into the binding, which should help it to uh, hold together <clears throat> a little bit more. So yeah, um, let me just check out Isaiah here. Uh, Songs of Solomon, Isaiah. Yeah, it doesn't really have any introductions, but it just goes right into it. And it tells you, which is really cool, which this doesn't have. It has the time frames, the estimated time frames of when the book of Isaiah was written in there, saying that it's written in about 760 B.C. And then it goes right in to uh, the text. The vision of Isaiah, the son of Amos, which he saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem in the days of Uzziah, Jotham, Ahaz, and Hezekiah, king of Judah. That's the text. And then in the red it says, Isaiah was a contemporary of Jonah, Amos, Hosea, and Micah. It is thought that he began to preach at about 15 years of age and died at about 85. Tradition says that Man Manasseh placed Isaiah in a hollow log and cut him in two. And that's in Hebrews chapter 11, verse 37. The great book which bears his name was written about 800 years before Christ. His prophecies covered the entire or partial reign of some of the four kings as listed in the text. Every message was primarily related to Judah, uh, Jerusalem, or the Jews and their holy city. He is called the millennial prophet, having given more prophecies concerning the coming grand day than other prophet than any other prophet. As well, he is quoted by Christ more than any other prophet. Of the four kings under whom Isaiah prophesied, Hezekiah was the godliest. You see, there is some uh, nice historical and biblical um, commentary in there, right there next to the test. And, and like it says, almost every page has that. It is just awesome. So if you want a quick reference to a scripture and you want to go to it instead of looking and uh, fumbling through a study Bible, um, it has it right here. So it's just wonderful. And then at the end, it has goes all the way to Revelation, and there's a bunch of uh, stuff in the back as well. I'm not going to go through it completely, um, but an introduction to the Bible by uh, Huber Drumwit, the languages of the Bible, the visions of the Bible, wonderful articles, and I read through all of these before I did this review. Um, they're just awesome. Introducing the Bible, the New Testament, uh, arrangement of the Bible, canon of the Bible, text of the Bible, and it just goes on. And there's just a whole bunch of wonderful uh, information in here. And uh, the chrono chronology of the Bible translation starts all the way back to the 1500s, all the way up to 1961. Um, and then money, weights, and measures, and all kinds of good stuff in here. And there's one that I really enjoyed myself, uh, just to keep on track and on the heartbeat of what's going on. Um, we have the Gregorian calendar that we, uh, generally the world, goes by, but there's also the Jewish calendar, and uh, that is a biblical calendar, and they have all the different uh, month, Tishri, September through October, number of days, uh, 30 days, generally every month in the Jewish calendar has 30 days, some of them have 29 or 30, and then the months of civil first, and the months of the sacred year, the official calendar of festivals, seventh day of atonement, tenth day of the feast of booths, tabernacles, the 15th and the, through the 22nd. And then it says, uh, it just goes on all the way down to Elul, Tammuz, and uh, we're in May, April, May right now. Evar or Zif, 1st Kings 6, 1, April to May. Uh, well, actually, we're in May to June, so Sivan, depending on what it, where it falls, and uh, Esther 8, 8. And that's the number of days, 30 months of civil year, ninth month of the civil year. And then third feasts of weeks, Pentecost in the seventh day. We know that's at uh, May 31st this year. So yeah, that was really cool. And it tells you the different things down here, which I thought was really interesting. Let me just read them for you. Uh, seed time. There are six fairly well-defined seasons. They are mentioned in Genesis 8 to 2. Seed time from the middle of October to the middle of December. Winter, from the middle of December to the middle of February. Cold, from the middle of February to the middle of April. Harvest, from the middle of April to the middle of June. Uh, summer, from the middle of June to the middle of August. And heat, 
from the middle of August to the middle of October. Hebrew months were 29 or 30 days each. Their years consisted of 12 lunar months of or 354 and a quarter days. Therefore, about every three years, seven times in 19 years, the 13 month Vedar, so called the second Adar, is added between Adar and Nisan. It is known as an interclary month. Amen. Yeah, it is. It is pretty rad. Um, despite what you think about the 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 author Jimmy Swagger or not, I mean, as far as I'm concerned, everyone's a uh, has trouble from time to time and, and is a heretic or a backslider or a sinful man or woman. Uh, nobody's perfect, but Christ. Um, so plants and animals and th- such. Yeah, it just it just has a ton. Frequent terms used in Bible study, harmony of the Gospels. It just goes on and goes on. Uh, and then you get into the concordance, which is really uh, decent. Um, yeah. And then you go all the way back here to the end. Got some more uh, road to salvation, Holy Spirit and baptism, and then some more place for notes. And then these wonderful maps, they're made of uh, magazine material. Some people might like that, or some people might not like that. I happen to like it. I, I like the way it feels. Um, as opposed to like a paper feel, but it just uh, lets you know that you're looking at the maps. So we got several nice, just beautiful maps back here in the back. The Kingdom of Israel is in Judah, uh, Jerusalem in Jesus' time, New Palestine in New Testament times, Paul's missionary journeys and such. And then you got a nice cardboard back here. It is a paste down uh, bonded leather, um, but it is Smith's own, so it is fairly... Uh, durable and the other cool thing is you got your two uh, ribbons those are nice as well for uh, study so yeah that's the uh, Jimmy Swaggart Expositor's Bible and also the New Testament Expositor's New Testament Counselor's Edition uh, for review if you need anything at all give us a call at one 70 jesus this is Pastor Scott we love you or if you'd like to just send in a prayer request or check out our website it's one accord crusades Com. God bless you guys. We'll see you soon. And if you're on YouTube watching this later, I would ask that you hit that subscribe uh, button so you don't miss a beat. I do do my best to upload different material on Facebook and YouTube from time to time. And also uh, hit the notification bell so you don't miss a beat. All righty. Thank you. God bless you. Jesus loves you. And so do we.